Hey, what's going on, OCNers? I am Blue Devil, and today we're going to talk about another product from Creative Labs. This time, it's the Sound Blaster X3 Hi-Fi 7.1 external USB DAC and sound card with Super X-Fi. So last time we looked at the Sound Blaster AE9 from Creative Labs, which is a PCIe-based sound card with an external audio control module, which is great if you're running a desktop with an available PCIe slot. But what about those users that are on a laptop or the dreaded Mac? Well, that's where the Sound Blaster X3 from Creative Lab steps in. You see, not everyone wants or has the room for a sound card. In the AE9 review, I asked, why have a sound card in 2019? Having the ability to work on several platforms is probably why a lot of people would opt for an external sound solution, not to mention being easier to set up than a PCIe-based sound card. Starting off, I would like to thank Creative Labs for sending over the Sound Blaster X3. Links will be in the description below. Like I said in the Sound Blaster AE9 review, why not just use your onboard audio from your computer? For some of you, audio from any source is good enough. Then there are some of us that crave more, more clarity, more depth, more of everything. Last year, Creative Labs had me sit down at CES and try out their new headphone holography called Super X5. I can honestly tell you that I really enjoyed the sound I heard. But I can understand it may not be for everyone. Super X5 took a bit to understand. While I personally think it's amazing for movies and games, for music, I prefer Super X5 off. Music to me sounds echoey and slightly distant. Not that that is bad. It kind of sounds like when you're at a small bar with a band playing for a smaller group of people. So aesthetically, the Sound Blaster X3 reminds me of the GSX 1000 and 1200 Pro from Sennheiser. Having front 3.5 millimeter headphone and mic jacks, making it differ from the GSX models. There are three buttons on top of the X3, the first one for mic mute, the second one for switching modes, and the Super X5 button to toggle Super X5. The X3 itself provides high power 32-bit, 192 kilohertz playback at 115 decibels. The very large volume knob, which also has a ring that lights up blue, white, or red, depending on the function, is located at the very center of the X3. The shiny beveled edge on the volume knob is also a nice touch. Moving to the rear IO of the X3, you are greeted with front, side, rear, and C-sub 3.5 millimeter line outs. A single 3.5 millimeter line in, optical out, and a USB-C port finish out the rear IO nicely. The bottom also has four low profile rubber feet to keep the X3 from sliding around on your desk. All right, so Super X5 might not be for everyone, but the X3 does have other things that are appealing as well, like customizing three different preset EQ modes with the mode button, which mode one is for music, mode two being for movies, and lastly, mode three is for footsteps enhancer, which would be helpful in gaming. Another cool feature of the X3 is that it's compatible with most devices like Windows PCs, Macs, PS4, and even the Nintendo Switch. So how does it sound? After listening to the same tracks at 32-bit, 192 kilohertz, like I did in the Sound Blaster AE9 review, I would be hard-pressed to tell the difference between the Sound Blaster AE9 and the X3 at the same volume. Notice I said at the same volume. The AE9 is noticeably louder at higher volumes, most likely due to the extra power that is drawn from the PCIe PSU rail. Also something to note in terms of clarity is the playback resolution on the X3 is only at 192 kilohertz, unlike the 384 kilohertz playback found on the AE9, giving a nod to clarity in favor of being almost three times more expensive. Another key difference is the headphone amp. The AE9 is capable of driving headphones of up to 600 ohms with 5.3 volts RMS. The X3, however, can also drive 600 ohm headphones, but at a mere 2.9 volts RMS. That explains why the X3 doesn't get as loud. So in conclusion, is the X3 from Creative Labs the end all audio device? No. The Creative Labs X3 does offer an extremely good aesthetic, simple to set up, and is a relatively lower priced DAC amp combo while providing great sound. Priced at 120 US, the X3 earns a solid 4.5 out of 5 flames. If you're looking for higher end audio out of your PC or consoles, I can confidently recommend Creative's Sound Blaster X3 provided you don't need audio to be screaming loud. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you all for watching or reading. Please also take the time to subscribe, hit the like button, and bang the notification bell so you get every bit of overclock that you can get. Blue Devil, out.